Hello everybody, this is Mateo. I do not feel like going back to Granny's Industries quite yet, and we have no more backtracking to do for now. So, what do you say we go and unlock the next level and start that one instead? Cause Grunny's Industries is kinda bad, still don't like it, all the jiggies that we have left we either can't get yet or they require a lot of work. And I don't feel like doing work right now, I'm on break. So, let's solve a puzzle instead. It's been a very long time since we've done one of these actually. Or, well, partially because it's been like two months since I last recorded. Uh, but also just because we haven't unlocked a new world in a very long time. I'm pretty sure the last time we did like three or four of them in a row, or maybe just two or whatever. But we were pretty set for a while in terms of worlds. But now we're finally going to a new one and it's looking all fiery, which is really awesome. I generally really like fire levels. So that'll be fun. Uh, fire actually reminds me, for my AP Psychology class, we have a disorder dinner party, which unfortunately didn't happen this year because the teacher was sick that day, but we had to create a persona with a certain, like, uh, psychological disorder, and we got to pick what it was, and I was a pyromaniac named Hal Apeno. First name Hal, H-A-L, and then Apeno, A-P-Y-E-N-O, or something like that. So, yeah, it was kind of funny. So, Crystal Jiggy being used yet again to unlock this world. Oh man, I almost forgot, it's everybody's favorite game. Open or Explosion. Which will it be, folks? Place your bets now. Will the door open or will it explode? Find out right now. Beam of lights hitting it. The answer was explosion! Ding 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 ding! Way to go, Jim! You got it right! If one of you guys is named Jim, I hope you picked explosion because this will actually work out very, very well. Yes, I am so the chosen one. Oh, we have enough jiggies? Well, why the heck not? Let's try it. Because we have to figure out the all important question will the door open or explode? Alright, what's this world? Okay, so it's much brighter. Uh, that's a thing to note. Also, we only have like three pieces to begin with. So yeah, they are really uh, going all out with these final puzzle challenges. Taking out basically all of the pieces. But, you know, just keep in mind edges are edges and stuff. There are only so many places that a piece can go. So... Just keep that in mind, find your corners, set your edges, you know, the general puzzle type stuff. And of course I'm getting all these wrong. That's not even... what the... What? Oh, this is the corner, darn it, I thought that it was one of the sides. Okay. Well, way to listen to my own advice, jeez Mateo, wow. That was pretty bad. Okay, well, we pretty much got this, there is no way. Alright, so there we go. It looks like a cave world, okay, it's odd for a final world, we already had Glitter Gulch Mine, is there another cave? Alright people, place your bets, open or explosion! Which will it be, Jiggy Wiggy, which one do you think it is? Explosion? Alright, well you do seem to be one to like your explosions. Yes, the power, the power to make the door explode, right? That's what Jiggy Wiggy wants. Well, we're in the wasteland again, and so far the uh, pterodactyl land was an explosion, that's a good sign maybe. Okay, where are we going? Through the small cave entrance, alright. And, well, what is it? Wait, there's, there's not a door there, what the heck? What? The answer was... Bubble? Well, I gotta, I gotta say, folks, never in a million years would I have expected a twist like that. Alright, so bubbles are indeed the answer, and we have enough jiggies to open up the next world, which is actually the boss world. 
So, yeah, we could go finish the game right now if we wanted to, but of course, we're going for 100%. We still have things to do. Wow, there was some serious slowdown there. Too many pieces moving off the board at once. Okay, come on, you. Let's do these puzzles, and this is technically the very last puzzle in the game. It's the last one we have to do. Uh, definitely. Come on, you. There we go. Jeez, it had to be one of those. But yeah, it's the very last puzzle that we have to do. There is one other one that you can do just for the heck of it. Um, but I don't think it gives you anything. Maybe a cheat code, but I kind of doubt that. But yeah, this is it, folks. This is... This is Gruntilda's lair, her new lair, the tower where she's keeping the B.O.B. machine. Go up, get up there, there you go, boy. Uh, of course, come on you. In you go. We're almost there, oh great, a completely plain sky, that'll really help me figure out where these pieces go. Yes, the sky is the most interesting part of this level, although it is a very dark and menacing sky, I gotta give him that. But, yeah, I should have focused more on the tower, I guess. Well, guys, this is it. The very fa final round of open or explosion or bubble. Uh, we, we had to change the title slightly because of that last one. So what's it going to be, folks? What's it going to be? Roll your dice, place your bets, make your wagers, prepare your drinking game. Uh, unless you're underage, in which case, don't, and I didn't tell you to do that. Okay, up the Claw Clamber path, and... Okay, well, I don't think electricity can explode. Yep, the final answer is in fact open. So there you go, that's it, that's the game. I hope you all had a fun time playing. Uh, cut to credits, and just like a clip of us uh, just talking. Oh, there's a Jiggy Wiggy Challenge 10, huh? And we need 70 Jiggies. Alright, well I forgot that there was a Jiggy Wiggy Challenge 10. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Well, we, we're we gonna collect all the Jiggies anyway, so it really doesn't matter at all. Also, in case you didn't notice, I did in fact transform Dragon Kazooie back into regular Kazooie. I think we've seen enough of Dragon Kazooie to get the gist of it. And we really don't have any need for infinite eggs anymore. Clinker's Cavern was really the only thing that I was worried about that with. Uh, so that's that, really. Uh, maybe I'll transform into Dragon Kazooie once or twice throughout the rest of this playthrough, but Kazooie's going to take most of it, and we're definitely going to be Kazooie for the end. Alright, so... Hailfire Peaks. This place is gigantic. Oh, hey, it's Gobi! If you remember, in the last game, he mentioned that he really wanted to go to the Fire World, and, well, he's finally made it two years later in the next game. So, yeah, we're going to need to pay him a visit. It's worth noting that Hailfire Peaks was originally meant to appear in Banjo-Kazooie, which was originally meant to have either 14 or 16 worlds, but instead it ended up with 9, and a lot of those worlds made it into Banjo-Tooie instead. And Hailfire Peaks was one of those, under, although back then it was called uh, Mount Fire Ice, which, gotta say, I like the name Hailfire Peaks a heck of a lot more. Alright, this pool of water is going to be for the pigs. You never thought it would happen, but we're actually getting closer to helping with the pigs, but right now the water is much too hot for them, so we're gonna have to cool it down eventually. So, oh man, starting a new world, where even to start? Uh, let's go here for now, I guess. Also, there's that dragon around there. That is the boss of this world. We're going to need to take care of him eventually. Okay, where am I? Gotta get our bearings, start unlocking some stuff, learn the moves, and whatnot. But yeah, that dragon guy, he's going to be a serious jerk and launch fireballs at you every now and again. So you want to make sure that you dodge those. Also, these are lava hand guys jump over them or just wait, they're gonna try to swipe at you, uh, like so, but right now my main concern is, uh, falling apparently, 
uh, but also grabbing notes, unlocking stuff, finding the moves. Uh, that's really the main concern right now. Where is this? This, I believe, is the train station. No, I didn't pay for a tour. Well, actually, I kind of did. I paid Jiggies, technically, and uh, did a puzzle. Isn't that enough, sir? Alright, this room... This room is a room. We can do stuff in this room. I am very well at describing things. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We've got switches to take care of. So, hit one switch, platform will raise up. Head back, hit another switch. Uh, we do have an air count, so you want to make sure that you have full bubbles for this one. Uh, by talking to that fish guy and getting them, that'll really help a lot. I think if you try to leave halfway through completing this, the switches would disappear. I mean, it would make sense. Otherwise, you could just leave every button and whatever. There would be no challenge to it. But once you hit all the buttons, uh, you'll complete the path and it won't go away. Also, be careful of landing in the lava. I don't know if Banjo will jump high enough to reach back up to where the platform is. Okay, the final button's all the way the heck over there. That's just great. Gotta backtrack now. Okay, and there's also the empty honeycomb over there. We'll grab that in a second with some good old clockwork buddies. You're supposed to actually go to the other side of this world and go through that door in order to get it. Uh, but I'm too lazy. So we're just gonna go with that. Another switch, man. I thought this stopped at five, but apparently not. Okay, let's make our way back up there then. Heck, you might be able to do this with just the original amount of bubbles that the game started you with. I don't know, I, I've only lost so four so far. You'd be calling it close, but you could at least get the prize for this. And then you die, but dying in this game really doesn't matter. So, you know, whatever. Okay, that switch has a jiggy on it. There we go. So let's go ahead and grab our very first Jiggy of the world. Also, that leads to three signs. I have no idea what those signs say, but they hold hints for stuff. Ah, we're here. Might as well check it out. Although this place is kind of really dark. Difficult to see where I'm going. Oh, there we go. Just jumped over it because of, of the darkness. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to walk all the way back here. I don't care too much about those signs. I've played this game before, so I know generally what to do with everything, so the hints probably... Although they would help remind me of something, I'll figure it out eventually, just fine without them. Uh, right now my main concern is just grabbing this uh, empty honeycomb over here. Uh, the easy way. I swear to god, if I run out... Ah, you've gotta be kidding me. Well, that's that. I have been really bad with my Clockwork Kazooie egg uses this playthrough. Like, normally I'm better than this. Like, that one Jiggy in Jolly Rogers Lagoon, I'm usually able to get that just fine. I'm usually able to get that honeycomb just fine. I had a bit of trouble with the one in the barrel minigame in Grunny's Industries, usually I can get that one just fine. Uh, but not this time around, I seem to be running out of Clockwork Kazooie eggs a lot, but you know, that's just how things go. We're gonna have to need to get that the legitimate way. Okay, let's continue exploring this world, see what we haven't seen. Let's go up here. Yeah, excuse me. Uh, let's go up here, I guess. Okay, so we got one Jiggy already, which is a pretty good start. Ooh, I can get more Clockwork Kazooie eggs, actually. Perfect. Although I don't think I'm going to run back there just to get the empty honeycomb. I'm sure I'll come around to it eventually again. Let's just remember where it is. Okay, in here is an important thing. Actually, I think I saw a Jinjo in there. It's not what I was thinking of, but it's a thing nonetheless. Uh, keep that platform in mind specifically. Actually, I think, yeah, this is the other side of where we were, where we fell off. Alright then, oh, okay. That's nice guy, thanks a lot for that. Okay, let's head this away. Just jump over you and get hit by your buddy. I am running out of health really quickly. Okay, that leads to the ice side. Yeah, I'm just gonna spoil it now, there's an ice side as well. Which, I mean, you kind of had to expect with it be being called Hail Fire Peaks. Uh, no, not Hellfire, although that is quite the pun. I do enjoy it a lot. Uh, but, yeah, we've got other things going on here. I'm about to die. That I do not enjoy. Where does this lead? Okay, this is the train station. But, 
even if we were to hit the train switch, which I think is around here somewhere, uh, we can't... Uh, Chuffy can't do anything in here quite yet because it's all uh, really, really hot and we'd have to cool down his engine. However, I do spy with my little eye a honeycomb, which I would greatly enjoy considering how little health I have. But also with my little eye, I see an empty honeycomb, which I would enjoy all the more. So if we could just hop on up here, grab the ledge maybe? Uh, please? Grab that ledge? What's wrong with you, Banjo? Why aren't you grabbing that ledge? Oh, the ledge is on the other side. Sure, wait a minute. Okay, that's mean. That's really mean. Great. Just got wombo comboed there. I'm just trying to grab an empty honeycomb. Come on, guys. Alright. Well, we're back at the beginning now, which is an annoying thing. There's really not a lot going on right now, so... Well, that's that. Um, let's head over... Oh, there's this tent over here. That's kind of interesting. Um, where else can we go? Okay, this thing would have been helpful earlier, but alas, no. <clears throat> let's head in here. Where does this go? Accidentally bumped my mic. I'm sorry if you heard that. Speaking of my mic, I built a new... What you call it? A new microphone stand, basically. I took an old tripod off of an old toy telescope thing that I had and uh, repurposed it, basically, uh, with lots of tape, mainly. Okay, so we got a mumbo over there, and I want to grab this ledge, so let's do that. Watch out for these guys. It's been a very long time since we've done a grip grab thing, actually. Okay, so let's head over here, see where this goes, and if I don't like where it goes, we'll head back to another place. Because there's something that I want to do near there. Oh wait, actually, this is exactly where I wanted to go, alright. So, here we are. Now, if the guy would make his noise and be all like, Wow, I'm going to destroy you. Uh, that would be great. Uh, because we actually need to use that d dragon's, uh, like, destruction breath in order to bust open that temple right there. You can see the huge crack in it. However, we do create a shortcut between here and the tent, which is kind of nice. But if the dragon would destroy this place, that would be great. You can see right in here we have a flight pad and stuff. Okay, he roared, so he should be launching a fireball my way right now. There we go, it's all destroyed, and now we can fly, which is very, very nice for this world. And also there's a globo, might as well pick that up while we can. So, well, let's take to the skies now. And, oh, okay, thanks a lot, guy, I didn't even get control, it was, it was impossible for me to dodge you. What a jerk, wow, I really want to kill him now. Luckily, he is the boss, so we're gonna go fight him. Normally I try to save the boss for last, or at least close to last, uh, but since this guy is going to be launching fireballs at us throughout our exploration of this level, and he's going to be annoying like that, we're gonna go take care of him right now. Here's the entrance. So yeah, you need that flight pad in order to get over here. And also we want to take up the fight ice eggs, because, well, he's a fire dragon, so it only makes sense. Okay, I actually want to grab Clockwork Kazooie eggs with this one, because, again, we're running low. Everything else is pretty much full. Yeah, excuse me. Okay, so here we have Chili Billy, although I wish they had spelled Chili with only one L. But, you know, whatever. Yes, we are definitely the pizza delivery boy. 12-foot spicy meat special. Um... Bow Chica Wow Wow, I guess? I, I don't know. So what we want to do is launch ice eggs at this guy using these cannons. And he'll be like, ah, it's so cold. So yeah, you can use three per cannon, and then he will uh, do his lick attack. So it'll it's like base 40 power, ghost type physical move, might paralyze you. So yeah, just jump over it constantly. He's gonna fire at where you are, so be careful with that. 
kind of sounds like the sound effect that, uh, what's it called makes whenever he spits fireballs from Donkey Kong 64. Uh, the, uh, Dogadon, that's what he's called. Kind of sounds like him a little bit. Okay, so we only got two off last time, so let's go ahead and fire one more at him. He's going to be all like, ow, ow. And then stunned, and then he's going to start licking us. So let's head over to the next cannon in the meantime. That way we can just dodge the fireballs, which are honestly the more difficult attack to dodge. Okay, I just kind of took that one. So let's just launch all of these at him, and is he done? Yep, he's done. My PlayStation 2 controller is currently blocking that part of the screen, so I couldn't see how much health he had left. And this is just freaking funny. He has like the world's longest neck, but th such a small body. Okay, and he's gonna go get some Big Al Burgers, which... It would have been really cool if you went back to, uh... Witchy World and you just saw these guys over at, Or saw that guy at Big Al's. It would have been kind of neat, but... They do not show up back there. So, whatever. Now we gotta find the exit to the, to this place. God, I'm really burpy today. That's kind of gross. But, meh. What am I, Nintendo Capri Sun? Not quite. In fact, far from it. Okay, I wanted that Clockwork Kazooie egg. Thanks a lot, game. Alright, so what next? We have... Oh yeah, that guy didn't give us a Jiggy. That's because there's actually two bosses to this area. There's one on the ice side as well, and we need to beat both of them in order to get the Jiggy. So, we still got a little bit of a ways to go with that. I think this is a move right here. Nope, it is an entrance. Let's go ahead and enter it, see where it goes. Probably just an another portion of this mountain. Oh no, this is where Gobi is. Well, shoot, I don't have the train over here. Yeah, I need to have the train over here to make use of this. Well, I'll keep note of this entrance. It's on top of the, uh... On top of this huge temple thing, so that'll be easy to remember. But shoot, normally I have the, t I have the train over here. Huh, alright then. Um, speaking of the huge temple, let's check out this place a little bit. And by that I mean we'll burn ourselves on our way down, yes. Okay, take two, why don't you? Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, some eggs, nice. Uh, Clockwork Kazooie eggs, please, and thank you. So you gotta be polite to the game to get what you want. And fallproof makes me not worry about that at all. Let's enter the huge temple place. Okay, there's actually a couple of things that we can do here, and quite a bit we can do right now. I want to say that this is a Minjo. This is just way too easy to find. Yep, there we are. However, there is that other crack one, and I want to say that this contains a Jinjo. I remember there being a Jinjo in here that we can get. Um, hello? Rubble disappear, please? Oh no, it's a door. Where does this lead? Oh, this is the door that leads to Mayhem Temple. I thought this was somewhere else. Well, guys, we are back at the very first world in the game, which is kind of surprising. However, we can go ahead and teleport, and, well, change into the Stony, because we actually need to be the Stony. We are bringing this transformation into another world, which I never thought was possible or would have been done. But alas, here we are, back to our humble beginnings to become a stoner, I mean stony. However, we are getting up there on time, so I think we're going to do uh, that stuff in the next episode. So, I will see you all then. Uh, goodbye, once I teleport. But hey, we got, we got one Jiggy. Um, we want to head to the kickball lobby. But we got one Jiggy already, and we also got half of another by beating one of the two bosses. So yeah, we got quite a bit of progress. Although, <laughs> I ended up missing more stuff than I would have liked. Uh, but you know, fireballs and stuff, man. What can you do? I swear there's still a Jinjo somewhere in here that I can grab, but yeah, look, the Stonies are back. Okay, yep. We like to do things a little differently here. The lowest score wins. So basically, we're playing golf kickball, which is great. Okay, but yeah. In the next part, we will play the 
Hailfire Peaks Kickball Games. So I will see you all then. Goodbye.